G'day everyone, how you going? I'm Crazy Cat Dad and welcome to my playthrough of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, game is quite old, uh, but it's an amazing game. I remember it was uh, really fast paced, absolutely rage inducing, but quite fun and a really nice storyline, funny enough. I don't know why, but it, um, it really doesn't top into the Metal Gear Solid games for me. I don't really get where it stands, whether it's before, like, MGS 1, 2 or 3 or whatever, but this game is insane, absolute insane, it's very advanced, some hardcore battles, and yeah, a lot of nostalgia, but anyway, let's, talking of me guys, I'm going to disappear with my face now, and I'm about to get started, so please enjoy the playthrough, I'll have a few episodes going with this because I don't really remember where this, uh, this game goes for, but it will definitely take me a few tries. Especially pressure off the bat. Anyway, without further ado, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more content and let's get started. Three years. We've come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm, a soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> what is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business!
stay calm. to your solid down radar. Jack, what do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. 
Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long. and to move over obstacles automatically. <sighs> Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him.
the front of the train. Enter him. Brighton, an unidentified field brother is headed your way. Keep an eye out for it.
<laughs> Shit, not again. It's not going to be a place for me to like talk in between and say thank you for so much for tuning in so I have to pause it. So thank you so much for tuning in guys, that's the end of this episode because this mission is about to finish. But also, this game is awesome and it's so full of bullshit but I love it. Just the whole ninja style, like the anime sort of thing, it's just everything's over the top. Also, you start the game fighting Metal Gear Ray. Like you're supposed to finish Metal Gear at the end but you're staying with it but it's absolutely incredible what I do because the soundtracks, the intensity, everything, oh my god. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in guys, enjoy the rest of this uh, mission and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Well, right. You're almost it's clear of the tunnel. Over. You came out. Ooh. Did you want to practice first? Gotta try hard on that. <laughs> <laughs> This first? <laughs> this is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over.